There are still a lot of questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. We found several misleading social media posts suggesting the shot is linked to hundreds of deaths and miscarriages. The Verify team tells us why those numbers can't be trusted. Here's Evan Kozlov. The Verify team goes to the experts to get you the facts about statistics that might be floating around on social media. You may have seen tweets about reported deaths or miscarriages being linked to something called VAERS. So let's verify. What is VAERS and what can it tell us? Our sources are the VAERS website as well as two vaccine experts, Dr. Arnold Monto and Dr. Koser Talat. It's very messy data. Let's start with Dr. Talat who says this system has some major shortcomings. And the same person can be reported multiple times, like the patient might report it, their physician might report it, the pharmacist who gave them the vaccine might report it. Right now, according to the CDC, more than 167 million doses have been administered nationwide. And as of the latest data processed on March 26th, there were about 233,000 reports in VAERS, including about 1,800 reports of death and 66 reports of spontaneous abortion or miscarriages. Now this is obviously some pretty scary sounding data, but our experts emphasize that just because something is reported doesn't mean it's connected to the vaccine. When you see numbers from VAERS, they are following vaccination, but not necessarily caused by vaccination. The FDA actually requires that vaccination providers report any death after COVID vaccinations to VAERS. The CDC writing, quote, to date, VAERS has not detected patterns in cause of death that would indicate a safety problem with COVID-19 vaccines. You can't draw any conclusions from looking at VAERS. And if you need any more convincing on this, just look at the disclaimer on the VAERS website. Quote, VAERS reports alone cannot be used to determine if a vaccine caused or contributed to an adverse event or illness. The reports may contain information that is incomplete, inaccurate, coincidental, or unverifiable. So we can verify that posting stats from VAERS without context is just straight up misleading. With your Verify, I'm Evan Koslow. If there is something you want us to verify, send an email to verify at 13newsnow.com. You can also reach out on social media.